Hello everyone, in this video we talk about distance and displacement. Assume you are standing at this point. Now if your friend tells you that there is a treasure pot 50 km away from home, how long will you take to find it? Which direction will you go? It could be here, here or maybe here. It is hard to know where exactly it is. You are only provided the distance which is one dimensional information. One dimensional information like this is called a scalar quantity. Your question to him would be which direction from home. When you are told that it's 50 km in northeast direction, you have the precise information of the location. This now becomes two dimensional information, distance and direction. The treasure pot is here. Two dimensional information like this is called a vector quantity. Scalar quantities are one-dimensional and vector quantities are two-dimensional. Speed is very good example of what is called in physics as scalar quantity indicating only magnitude but not specifying any direction. So that what scalar quantity means only magnitude and no direction. In the case of velocity, however, the direction is stated and that is why it is referred to as vector quantity. Vector quantity involves not just the magnitude, but also the direction. When you have directional information to speak, it becomes a vector quantity called velocity. The additional information makes it more specific. Temperature change, for example, is one dimensional quantity. But when we specify a rise or fall in temperature, it is two dimensional. If someone says that the temperature has changed by 2 degrees, we won't really know if it has increased or decreased. We will look at various scalar and vector quantities in the next few tutorials and for as long we study physics. Speed, velocity, distance, displacement, mass, weight, force, acceleration. The more we look at this, the clearer this concept would become. Thank you.